hard or not, and you what makes you think you're so special? You don't know, son. I don't have to know. I know how he thinks. You fucked up. He'll hurt you like anybody. No, sonny, trust me. That man can't trust anybody. You so don't have to better. How many times do I have to tell you? People don't respect him. They fear him. It's a big difference. You want to be somebody? Be somebody who works for a living. All right, good evening. What's poppin'? It's your boy, Big Rich. You know how we get down. Mobbed stories. Monday evening, the last day of September. October's here. Summer's over. Get your shit together. That's all I gotta say. All right? Reputed mob soldier given 14 years in prison for terrorizing family over juice loan debt. A reputed outfit soldier was sentenced to 14 years in federal prison Friday for threatening and beating a suburban businessman he claimed owed him 100000 and then hiring a goon to torch the debtor's car and house when he wouldn't pay up. <laughs> the car and the house, Jesus. Robert Pinozo Sr., 59, that's the guy on the screen, pled guilty in June to one count of extortion, admitting in a plea agreement with prosecutors that he embarked on a four-year effort to collect the juice loan debt beginning in 2005. The sentence was handed down Friday by U.S. District Judge Philip Reinhardt in federal court in Rockford, according to a spokesperson for the U.S. Attorney's Office. In asking for a stiff sentence, prosecutors wrote in a recent court filing that Panazzo terrorized the extortion victim and his families for years, culminating with separate arsons at the man's house where his wife, daughter, and three young grandchildren were asleep. It really scared everyone, the victim told authorities, that after one of the fires, according to the filing, none of us could sleep. The kids would cry every night, afraid they were going to die from another fire. The sentence Friday will be served concurrently with Panazzo's 18-year prison sentence handed down earlier this year for his Cook County conviction in a sweeping racketeering conspiracy. Rico and that Grace Panazzo, a longtime associate of Paul Koraluk admitted to heading a crew that took part in wide-ranging crimes that included home invasions, armed robberies, burglaries, insurance fraud, and prostitution. With good behavior, Panazzo, who has been in custody for more than five years, would be eligible for release in 2026. Panazzo was a longtime soldier of Albert Little Guy Venna, the reputed Grand Avenue boss, according to prosecution testimony at the mob-related trial in 2014. According to a 17-page plea agreement in federal extortion case, Panazzo loaned a McHenry County businessman identified only as victim one 40000 in 2005 and then followed up with additional loans. At a meeting at a restaurant in Palatine in 2006, the businessman handed Panazzo an envelope with 25000 cash. He believed that that was his final payment, but Panazzo let him know that he still owed 100000 in interest on the loans. That October, after the victim had not paid, Panazzo and associate Joseph Abbott confronted the businessman at work beating him and causing injuries and contusions to the victim's head. Panazzo was later sentenced to prison for a burglary conviction that, and couldn't collect on the debt. Once he was released in 2008, though, Panazzo began calling victim one demanding repayment. In February 2001, Panazzo paid Abbott $1,000 to set fire to a Dodge Caravan that was parked in the victim's driveway. And two months later, Ab incendiary device to set fire to the victim's garage and several trash cans. Panazzo acknowledged in the plea agreement that he paid Abbott about 4000 or 5000 to blow up the victim's residence. Abbott had pled guilty to extortion and is awaiting sentencing court records show. The victim, meanwhile, told authorities it took years of restless nights to get over the terror brought on his family by Panazzo. Raised in the old Italian-American enclave known as the Patch on the near west side, Panazzo and Coral Luck have criminal histories that stretch back decades. In 2006, they were both sentenced to seven years in prison for a string of burglaries targeting Tony North suburban homes that netted millions of dollars in jewelry and other luxury items. Police at the time described the burglars as some of the most sophisticated they had ever seen, from disabling state-of-the-art alarm systems to cutting phone lines. Nice. 
Everybody's in short. Fuck out of here. Panazzo and Korlok were arrested in a dramatic sting in 2014 after the two posed as cops to rob what they thought was a cartel stash house on the southeast side. These dudes ain't playing. They kicked in the door and grabbed the faux faux. Now, they kicked in the door and grabbed stacks of drugs, only to be arrested by Chicago police and federal agents who had wired the house for audio and video surveillance and watched from above with an FBI spy plane. Fucking feds. Panazzo's name surfaced repeatedly in the bizarre 2014 trial of Stephen Mandel, a former Chicago cop and death row inmate who was convicted of plotting to murder and dismember a suburban businessman. According to trial testimony, Panazzo introduced Mandel in July 2012 to an associate during a lunch meeting with other mobsters at La Scarola, a popular Italian restaurant on West Side Grand Avenue. On West Grand Avenue. The associate wound up cooperating with the FBI, the Scraciad, wearing a wire as he pretended to go along with the plan to kill the Riverside landlord. For weeks, the FBI watched through a hidden camera as Mandel outfitted a North West Side storefront he jokingly referred to as Club Med with an industrial sink, butcher table, and other equipment needed to chop bodies to pieces. Mandel was arrested in October 2012 as he arrived at the victim's office with plans to kidnap him. He is serving life in prison. All right, so this is out the Chicago Tribune. Great article written by Jason Meisner. So salute to Jason Meisner. All right, you already know how we get down. Like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Don't front, Ruckus Radio. We got it going on. Salute.